This is my home. This is our home with the, with the Mother Earth. Everything around here has life, the spirit, the spirit to these trees, the ground, these plants, even this air and the wind, the wind that blows. And this respect for all life forms and all of the roles that each life form has and the responsibilities that we have within that network of life is something important to us because we were given the directions, the instructions to care for Mother Earth in a way that life would continue. All of our ceremonies, all of our teachings come from things in nature. They come from the growing cycle and everything is tied to the earth. And if those ties are broken, basically then our way of life has changed and is destroyed. Hay un gran dicho de nuestros, de nuestros antepasados en Guatemala que dice que todo lo que le haces a las tierras te lo haces a ti mismo. When I was growing up, I thought I was safe from the outside. My family, they raised me up on the land. We lived with it all our lives and we're going to die with it. We're not going to stop eating it. We know it's contaminated that this is something that is killing us and that it is, in fact, current genocide of our people. This is the Monday, June 14th edition of Native America Calling. I'm Harlan Makasato. Today we're talking about POPs, persistent organic pollutants. We're going to take a look at how these pollutants affect our health and our culture. First of all, POPs are highly toxic chemicals and compounds that make their way into the environment and more alarmingly into our food chain. Stuff like polychlorinated biphenyls or PCBs, DDT, dioxin, and furin, which are all highly toxic and carcinogenic. Now what's happening as these toxic compounds become water or airborne, they eventually end up in the food chain. Fish, for example, get pops into their system and they build up in their fatty tissues. Then something comes along, maybe a bigger fish comes along and eats that fish, passing on those toxins. Eventually, they make their way up the food chain to us, you and I. 